This video has been sponsored by Seabank Good. Click the link in the description below to find out how you can shop securely, affordably, and ship to wherever you are in the world. Link in the description and details to follow. Thanks so much to Seabank Good for sponsoring this video. What's up you guys, Lord Hazel here, back again with another video and today we are going to be discussing, discussing, reviewing, unboxing and reviewing the Redmi Buds 3 Lite or otherwise known as the Redmi Buds 3 Youth Edition. Now, this was sent over by Seabank Good and we are actually doing a giveaway. Details to follow at the end of the video so you want to stick around for that. Before you get to it, make sure you've hit that subscribe button, turned on the notification bell, and while you're at it, leave a like on this video. It helps the algorithm suggest this video to more and more people. Cheers. Right, so best way to start this video is going to be with the unboxing process of the Redmi Buds 3 Lite. Now, the boxes I got were pretty mangled and I take it something happened during shipping, but okay, the contents are okay. In the box you get the buds themselves, the interchangeable ear tips and winglets and that's just about it. This here version doesn't ship with a charging cable in the box and we're going to get to a bit more of that later on in this video, but that's just about it. The unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. First impressions when I took this case out of the box is, this case is small. It's tiny, it's tiny, it's cute, it's matte black, I love that. It doesn't hold a lot of fingerprints, doesn't scratch easy like the buds I'm coming from, the Anker Sonko R100 earbuds. Doesn't look like it's trying too hard to do its job, it's just a case. Simple, clean, open it up, drop in your earbuds and you're good to go. Now, opening the case is where things got a little bit more interesting. These are the first pair of earbuds I've used that ship with a pill. I've never experienced that before. Take the earbud out of the case and uh, everything is pretty standard, pretty simple. You get your ear tip, you get right and left markings on each earbud, you get the charging points and on these earbuds you get a wingtip to make sure the earbud sits snugly and securely in your ear, doesn't fall off. And on the other side is an LED light for when the earbud is ready to pair or when it's charging and a touch sensitive uh, pad, which we're going to get to in a bit. Oh, and before I forget, the case charges via USB Type-C. Now onto the usability aspect of the Redmi Buds 3. First of all, pairing to them is pretty straightforward. You take them out of the case, turn on Bluetooth on your phone, they'll pop up as Redmi Buds 3 with some Chinese writing, which a quick Google Translate just shows you it's the Redmi Buds 3 Youth Edition. And that's just about it. Hit connect and you're good to go. Living with these earbuds is pretty straightforward. They don't fall out of your ear and they're really, really comfortable. I'm using the medium ear tips on these earbuds and they're really comfortable for long listening sessions. They do offer really good noise isolation. Keyword noise isolation, not noise cancellation. The wing tip do help them to stay in place in your ear. Snugly, they don't fall out when you're in the gym, running or doing any physical activity. This next part is where you guys put a ton of faith in me. How do these earbuds sound? These earbuds sound good. Low ends are good, high ends are good, mids are good. Perfectly balanced, the sound is rich, the sound is full. Why am I doing this? Okay, you get the point. The sound is full, rich, and really enjoyable. It doesn't get screechy, it doesn't rattle when uh, you pumping music at max volume. They're really comfortable on the ear and they're pretty balanced for this price point. They are not going to go up against high-end earbuds we've seen out there. I'm talking earbuds from Sony, Apple and the like. They're not going to be in that league, they're not going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys. But for this price point, they are pretty good, pretty comfortable, the sound is good. Here is where I've got qualms with these earbuds, okay? Now, I have been slowly tasting the Xiaomi ecosystem. Okay. I've got a Xiaomi smartphone, I've got a Xiaomi smart band to monitor my health, I've got a Xiaomi soundbar and I've got a Xiaomi bathroom scale. Cool. I went ahead and got this Xiaomi Redmi Earbuds 3 and I don't see how this fit rather transists or help the continuity of my life in the Xiaomi ecosystem, no matter how much I want to. Here's the thing. You connect this to a Xiaomi phone and you get the option to toggle absolute volume on and off. Now, for those of you that don't know, absolute volume will keep the volume of Bluetooth devices and the phone strictly consistent. Sounds good, sounds high tech, sounds fun and games, but on this, no. I advise if you're using this, turn absolute volume off. 
and that's on Xiaomi devices. That's because with absolute volume, everything is pretty inconsistent with these earbuds. The mids are off, the lows are off, the highs are off. And the volume itself, what the absolute volume feature should be keeping consistent, is also off. And I found that it ruins the listening experience of these earbuds on Xiaomi devices. However, turn to something else like say a Samsung device which doesn't have anything like absolute volume turned on by default and the listening experience is just heavenly. It's so good, the sound is rich, so full, it makes the experience of these here earbuds so, so good. Piece of advice, if you're using this on a Xiaomi device, turn absolute volume off. Now, let's move on to battery. This here earbuds have got five hours of non-stop music playback, which is good, really good. The case itself offers up to 18 hours of charge, but in my experience, I found that I can use the earbuds to zero and charge them up to three times with the case before the case needs charging. So on battery life, you're pretty good. Here's the thing though, when these earbuds fall below 30%, things start going south really badly. Some scenarios you'll find one earbud cuts out and doesn't come on at all, meaning you have to drop it back into the case, take it out, it repairs and things keep playing. Another scenario is at 30% volume, they lose sync, such that one earbud is playing music ahead of the other earbud and that creates some sort of annoying echo and lag in your ears and it just ruins the whole listening experience. In some scenarios, both earbuds completely just turned off and you couldn't use them again till you drop them in the case to charge. And I didn't really understand this because in Bluetooth, I'm seeing that my earbuds have got 30% juice left, but they've just completely turned off and they're not going to turn back on until I pop them back into the case for them to charge a little bit, take them out, and then I'll go on listening and they'll still power on at 30%. And that is a really weird phenomenon with these earbuds. Looking at these earbuds just takes me back to where uh, the whole earbuds and wireless earbuds, true wireless earbuds uh, craze came from. Starting with Apple getting rid of the headphone jack, creating a problem only they could solve with the AirPods. And then we saw this flood of fakes, AirPod fakes, and everyone trying to build their own type of earbuds to a point where we have earbuds for every price point and even earbuds that are cheaply priced are so good there's this the sound from this is so good save for those issues I've mentioned everything here is good just works as it should if it works as it should anyways as I said we have partnered with Good to do a giveaway of these and if you want to win yourself a pair make sure you've subscribed hit that subscribe button take a screenshot of that and send it to me on Twitter yeah simple that said, thanks so much to Seabangood for sponsoring this video. Again, click the link in the description below to find out how you can shop and ship from Seabangood and uh, find out more on the crazy deals and offers they've got. That said, Lord Hazen here, signing out. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It helps YouTube suggest this video to more and more people. Share this video with your friends if you found it helpful. Let me know what you think about the Redmi Buds 3 Lite in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.